Hello YouTube, I have my DJI Phantom 4 Pro Plus here. And I'm here. Yeah, my, my friend. And um, I'm going to be doing a review on it. Now I got this um, Phantom 4 Pro um, a while ago. And um, I just wanted to do a review on it because um, not many of you guys know or you're probably going to buy this but you want to know more like a, you want to know more about it so I mean um, I do know how to fly it I, I mean I'm only 12 so um, but for you guys I'll tell you one thing if you're new you should always set it into beginners mode sorry let me just put it back into focus um. Yes. Yeah. So always do it into beginners mode, which is like the safest. I mean, I'm always in P mode. The these are the modes. Just move these antennas. These are the modes. You've got P mode. You've got S mode, and then you've got A mode. Now I always stick in P mode because it uses all the sensors and it's the most safest. And um, it will prevent you from crashing more. So, um, I'm just going to show you guys what this um, is about. This video. And I'm just going to do the unboxing of it. This is literally just an unboxing just to show you. But and I it's £1,100. Uh, £1, no, £1,800. Yeah, and it's really expensive. So, um, I'm going to show you the drone itself. So, I'm not going to take this off or this off. Right here, I'm just going to show you it like this. So, um, these are the motors. Now, these are um, like locking motors. These ones have block dots. This is that motor and this one has white dots. Now, um, if you want to see the propellers, let me just... Put this back in here and get these propellers out. The good thing is that you can always buy new propellers. So this is a one with a silver. This is a silver one because it has the silver circle thing around, and the silver goes with the one with no dots. And these are like lock-in place. Obviously, these this is the new one because it's got plastic around. And this is the black one. This one goes with the one with the black dots. You just like if you screw it on like this, and then it'll be locked in place. Now, let's go to the controller. Oh, no, actually, I'll just stick onto this. So the camera is 4K and it can shoot 100 frames per second. So um, it's got two sensors at the front it's got um sensors on the side and then it's got two sensors at the back these are the other ones it's also got two sensors on the bottom there's one and there's the other one so that's really what the drone is like this drone, it also has the where you put the battery in. I'll go to the battery now, actually. So the batteries are a bit different. Um, let me just show you one of them. But from compared to the Phantom Four, these have I think five five thousand. 870 milli um uh, I don't know I think that's milliamps I don't know mm. can you see Wait, let me just focus there okay and you can see it there as well so 15.2 volts okay so this is the battery it, it's very similar it even has the the logo the um, battery thing so this is a hundred percent now. 
I'm going to put this back in. I have two batteries at the moment. And I'm going to go straight to the controller. Okay. So this is the controller. I got the Phantom 4 Pro Plus controller. These are the antennas. I think I've already showed you these. But these have a longer range compared to the Phantom 4. It even has the built-in screen, which I absolutely love about this. Let me show you guys. So this is it. Just hold it like this. Okay, so basically, let me just show this for you guys. So this here, um, the screen is like really clear, like super clear. I think it's 1080p, which is really good. It's really bright as well. If you want to turn this on, you press once, then you press it again and hold it down. Now, this screen is built in, so it's not detachable, you can't really take it off. But um, it's really good. I don't think I'll be able to connect it for you guys, but you guys can just see what it would look like on this. So, I'm gonna press enter device, if you can see. And this is how it would look like. Obviously, the screen would be there from the camera, and you've got the menu, and you can change everything. Slide to take off, and return to home. So you've also got return to home on here, this button, and um, you've got editor, album, and sky pixel. One amazing feature that I didn't notice about this is that if you actually go to the first application, I mean not the first application, I meant settings, um, and then you go to all applications, you've got all these apps, so you've got browser, downloads, Facebook, gallery, Instagram, settings, Twitter and WeChat, um, I don't know, I think you can download games on here, I think you have to stick a USB into this or something, I've never tried it before, but, um, it has, um, but this does also actually have Android built in. This is Android. Now, if I just go to browser, I I've usually gone this. There's no Wi-Fi because no Wi-Fi here when I'm recording. Instagram. Yeah, login. Okay. WeChat. Okay. So now we're gonna go to um this controller. So as you can see. This controller has the battery thing here, battery indicator, so it's probably about 50% right now, just hold it like this, okay, so there's the speaker, right there, let me just show you guys by putting this back, the speaker's right there, this is the thing to hold it, you know, like, um, just to hold it around your neck, with that um, rope thing, I'm not sure. These are like some comfortable grip things. I don't know. You've also got this, the joysticks, not joysticks though, but they're metal. This just controls the drone right there. I don't know if you can see it. But um, now we'll go to the bottom. Just um, make it go like this, yeah. So the bottom, it has USB, HDMI, SIM card, um, I think this, I think I put a, a 128 gigabyte SIM card, this drone comes with a 16 gigabyte, um, then you've also got your, um, what's the, I, I don't know, the Samsung cable, this, this is just the one they use for Samsung, and then you've got more grip things here, and you've got this here, then you've got these. So the controller is a lot different from the Phantom 3 and it's just better. So I'm going to put this away now, I'm just going to turn it off, powering off, 
and I'm gonna put this back in. Okay, so I'll just put it in this. So, um, now we're going to go to the extra part. So, we've got these right here. This is, you should always use these cables whenever you um, are updating. Um, like, whenever the controller comes up with um, update, the new software, you should use this. Because the controller will connect to this. Here, through the through this that one there. So um, I just put it. You just check. Okay. So I really do like this drum. It records really clear. There's just one problem. If you're in like a really um, if, in like populated area where the Wi-Fi signal is really strong, then it will always come up with an interference, and it can't go that much far away from you. Only go, it will only go 200 meters. I've checked it. Um, it starts using range 120 meters away from me. It's not like it's, it's not that bad, but you should go to parks whenever you use it if you're in a populated area. The Wi-Fi signal is really annoying. So. I'm gonna put these away.